And uh, I brought a couple guys up here with me that I had lunch with on Monday. And uh, Sean Green is the lead pastor at Sherwood Oaks Christian Church in Bloomington, Indiana. Tell everybody when you stepped into this role. Uh, yeah, 13 months ago, August 2020. Yeah. So, like, yeah. you know, during nothing going on in our yeah, world during yeah, that time. Yeah, you know, not, not a whole lot. And you followed a senior pastor, uh, Tom Ellsworth, great guy, who had been there how many years? Yeah, he'd been there for 40 years. Yeah. So, I, I was just thinking about, there's probably a lot of people that have started new roles, new ministries in this very unique era. Nicomas Perez, new lead pastor at Harvester Christian Church in the greater St. Louis area. Let me pass that over to Nicomas. So, Nicomas, you stepped into your role when? Five months ago. Five months yeah. ago. Okay, nothing going on in no our clue world what I'm during doing this yet. time at all, too. And you, you started as an intern at Harvester. Yeah, intern uh, 15 years ago, and then came on staff after that. Yeah, well, congratulations Thanks. to both of you on your new roles. So, let's just, we've, we've had an amazing morning already, and I just wonder, Nicomas, uh, what's popped out at you that you're saying, I, I need to run with that idea, I need to think more, dwell on that from today? I've, I've been really pulling the ingredients from each of them. And so three things that have really stood out for me, for me this morning is uh, the church, the, the young adults, and hope. Those three things together, I think they make a recipe for the future moving forward of uh, the, the church is primary. The young adults are ready, and man, they're full of hope as well. And so I think if we could put those three things together, that's something Harvester is definitely going to take. Yeah, great. Well, we're cheering you on in your new role there. And uh, Sean, a takeaway or two from you this morning. Yeah, so when I entered into this role, our director of spiritual formation said, Sean, you're going to look back on this one day and be grateful that you transitioned in the midst of COVID. And uh, I said, Alan, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> but 13 months later, I'm, I'm starting to see some of that. Uh, and really, I think my takeaway to today is my temptation is going to be for my vision and for my hope to be too small and to be too safe and to just align my heart with God and for his vision, his hope for our church, and to not let fear, not let the circumstances that we transitioned into uh, define, but to let God really lead the way. Um, with his passion and his energy. Maybe make hope a habit. Make hope a habit. I think that'll that preach. Sounds, man, I think that'll preach. preach. <laughs> so uh, before we uh, go to break, uh, we're gonna, we'll have a 10, 15 minute break. You'll hear some activities start, start firing it up in a minute. I just wonder if there's other people in the room uh, like Sean, like Nicomas, that you know, since the COVID era began in March of uh, 2020, you began some kind of new role. You stepped you planted a church, you took on a new position, you moved into a new setting. And I just wondered if any of you are in that boat, we want to pray for you before we go to break. Would you just stand wherever you're at in the room? And because you're, you're in a unique uh, challenge. And a, it's amazing. And I just want to say how proud I am of you for saying, let's go, let's bring some light into the darkness, let's fight back against these times, and you've done a very courageous thing, and we honor you today. God, I thank you for Nicomas, for Sean, and for all these women and men throughout this room who have made courageous decisions to say yes to kingdom opportunities and to take a baton and to say we will walk through this era hand in hand with our Father and with hope and we're going to trust as we plant and water seeds that, that the only one who can is going to bear fruit and bring an increase. God, keep them encouraged. Help them. I pray even right now, they know that they're a part of a larger family that's pulling for them, and we are all in this together. Thanks for the amazing morning we've already had. We, we look forward to what you're going to do as we begin our final segment of time together, uh, 10, 15 minutes from now, and we lift our prayers together in Jesus' name and for his sake. And everybody said...